BioPlex Data Pro software is an analysis tool for organizing your data and visualizing results relevant to your biological system. The home screen provides easy access to basic functions. Here you can create a project or open a project from a comprehensive list or open a recently opened project. Projects are one or more data files or runs which are grouped together for analysis. Navigate through a project using the buttons on the left. This project contains two data sets or plates or run results. Click here to view and manage your data sets. Click on the second button to view and manage your sample list. Click on the third button to view tables and heat maps of unanalyzed results. Think of this as your results listed by sample with no grouping information used for analysis. Click on the last screen to analyze your results taking into account biological replicates. You can view standard curves from several runs in the data set screen if you have BioPlex Data Pro Plus. Standard curves for each data set are displayed in the bottom pane. Of course, this is available for each analyte in the project for as many data sets as you require. A comprehensive sample list is automatically created when data is imported into a project. Specific sample information has been added to this sample list. This was done using the add column function shown on the right. Information was then filled in by hand or from copying from Excel. The information from the instrument on the right cannot be edited. However, information in the added columns can be updated at any time. This project tracks three things, the matrix, the gender, and the diagnostic state of the individual from which the sample was collected. The analysis section allows you to make comparisons, generate graphs, and identify analytes of interest to your biological system. Again, this project tracks diagnostic state, gender, and matrix for each sample. Here we see a scatter plot, which represents all the samples in the project. You can hover over a dot to identify what sample that represents. The x-axis of this graph has no scale. The samples are spread across the x-axis in order to more easily identify individual samples. Identify the comparison you want to make by choosing the attribute or the column from the sample list that you want to compare. Know how this graph updates when you make a, a change or a selection. In this case, I am comparing plasma and serum samples to each other. Now I've chosen condition or diagnostic state and notice how each diagnostic state is grouped across the x-axis. If I choose a control or a sample which I want to compare all my uh, experimental states to, the chart will update with the control on the left and a statistical test doing a pairwise comparison between the normal or the control and the experimental states will be calculated and displayed on the graph. The p-value in the table is a result of a statistical test comparing all four types of samples to each other. You can sort by the p-value, thereby identifying analytes that are most important for your experimental conditions. Hold the control key to select multiple analytes.
There are three charts and three tables in the analysis screen, which summarize the analysis in different ways. All with the exception of the last table will display results for multiple analytes. The statistical tests applied are conservative. They will not support statistical differences where none exist. They are run automatically and they're applied appropriately for the given context. Choose available statistical tests with the controls on the left. T-test and ANOVA are for data that has a normal distribution. Mann-Whitney is for data that does not have a normal distribution. ANOVA compares three or more groups. T-test does a pairwise comparison of a control to the other biological replicate groups. Similarly, Crystal Wallace compares three or more groups, whereas a man Whitney is a pairwise comparison of your control to your experimental group. Other calculations like sample count and average overall signal are available on the right. The filter tool allows you to easily select a subset of samples for analysis. Use this pull-down menu to identify the attributes or the column from your sample list that you want to use for filtering your results. Here, I am excluding serum from my analysis. I've chosen gender and excluded male, and note how the filter icon indicates which column or attribute a filter is applied to. Note the clear and select functions along the top of the filter tool. Clear all filters, select all for the indicated attribute, or clear all for the indicated attribute. Any analysis can be saved with any project to be recalled at a later time. This is available in the plus version only. Analysis settings, analyte choices, and chart choice can be saved as an analysis set. In this case, I have changed my analysis settings and I'm naming a new analysis set. Once saved, that analysis set is available in the pull-down menu on the lower left. Recall, save, copy, rename, and delete analysis set using the indicated controls on the bottom left. All saved analysis sets are available for recall at any time. Projects can be shared by accessing the import and export functions in the file menu. Access the file menu and choose either export or import project. These dialog boxes work just like any other Windows application. Here I am importing a project sent to me by a colleague. As in any new project, I can define which sample type will be used for analysis. and I can rename the project. Once I import the project, I am now viewing Bob's project. Bob's settings are preserved, and if you have Bioplex Data Pro Plus, you can review his saved analysis sets. Thank you for viewing Bioplex Data Pro Software Overview. For more materials, please visit our website.